So we are here toward the end of Outlaws of Thunder Junction preview season. Mm -hmm. People always complain about never-ending preview season. <laughs> yes. But I figure let's just not only lean into it, let's get ahead of it. And let's yep. talk about Bloomberg let's instead. Let's start talking about Bloomborough now. <laughs> <laughs> So Bloomboro is going to have, we have been told, there's going to be 10 color pairs associated with different animals. Yep. Um, this is from Morrow's blog on Tumblr. Um, so we were thinking we might kind of look ahead at some of the stuff that's already come out, mm -hmm. um, mostly in Thunder Junction, but there's a few from Ixalan we want to look at as well. Um, they kind of correlate to these because they do, uh, he does mention on here that they've seated some cards in previous sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey further challenges us the players to try and figure out what the uh the creature types for each color mm -hmm. pair are going to be so let's just have a look at some of these things see some cute animals and kind of yeah see if we can figure some of this i out. always want to look at cute animals <laughs> there's one badger in outlaws and it's a it's a mount it's very fierce looking mm -hmm. yeah but the reason that I think uh, that there are also badgers in Bloom Burrow is because they have very explicitly told us that <laughs> with uh, one of the preview arts from yes. the, the preview panel at Magicon. Hugs, yep. Grizzly Guardian. Yeah, he looks grizzly. Yeah, and so obviously this badger's green. Green is probably one of the colors. If, But we, he also, Maro, also said there are some one-off creatures in the set that just aren't part of a creature type theme. So... There could be some red herrings here. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, um, yeah so we've got this one. Um, moving on, we also have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh do you want to have... I don't want to move on. Oh, okay. Because I just want to admire the possibilities before we know that there could be... What's the other kind of badgers? There, there, are, there are, what, you're... Uh, American badgers are all fierce all the time. And then there's the super cute badgers like uh, green sleeves mix. Okay. But actually, the coloration on these two mm -hmm. is more of that. I think it's a European badger mm -hmm. that are the, like, the, just the cute, friendly kind. But these yeah, ones are all the, these, snarly. So. These are very snarly. Lots uh -huh. of teeth. They don't look very friendly. But, yeah. This one's, like, crushing... A hugs is, like, crushing something's skull in his mitts, so... Yeah. I don't know what the secondary <laughs> color would be for them, yeah. but we'll... We have some other likely candidates for green, so we can maybe process of elimination and come back to yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay, so anyway, sorry, moving on. Um, yeah, so on to my favorite color, black. Uh, <laughs> we have bats. Um, we've gotten a lot of black bats in Ixalan, as well as some white. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there, it's, I think it's a reasonable assumption that we're going to see... If bats are a tribe in this yeah. set. Well, they did. They kind of explicitly said that because I was w watching the um, replay of the Magicon. Okay, yes. Uh, preview panel. And they said that this bat that they previewed there is a cleric. Okay. And that very much sounds like yeah. this is the Orzhov. This is probably the Orzhov. Not 100%, but look grouping. at the art. Cleric. We have Yay. established bats yeah. in both white and right. black. Deep cavern bat and ruined so river bat. So that would long. track. But there there are no bats in Outlaws. Sadly. Alas. Birds. Uh, there are a lot of birds. And one of the commander... Uh, oh, decks right. For it has Bloomboro. a crane on the front, right, I right. think. Right, right, crane. That's right. Uh, but there are a number of birds in Outlaws. Mm -hmm. Birds, I think, are kind of a more common creature type. Yeah, a lot. I think there, we've had at least one bird in most sets. Yeah. I don't know. We That might be interesting to look and see if there's been any sets with zero birds. But <laughs> yeah. birds have been a pretty solid perennial creature type in Magic. Yeah. I guess I came into this particular activity mm -hmm. looking for animals that ha are more um, humanoid animals. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the birds in Outlaws are a mix. Like the harried Strix is just an owl that looks like an owl. But then the Avon Interrupter looks sort of like an owl person. Yeah. So I don't know if I guess there's that. there's a bit of well, I don't know. It looks like the the birds with job classes, like rogue and wizard, seem yeah. to have more oh, of yeah. that humanoid appearance. Right. And the ones that are just birds are just birds. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You're yeah. Yep, there are three birds that I've found in Outlaws that have a, a job class and they are all humanoid they have clothes mm -hmm. helmets hats, accessories yeah. yeah and all of the others are, they're just birds they're but just they're birds. every color except green so yeah. i don't think we have a real clear okay. idea again process of elimination i think we can kind of narrow it down i think but, what was do we still have an image of the commander sets or the commander decks pulled up because i think the one with the crane was yeah. bant 
could be wrong about that. Uh, no, the the rabbits are <gasps> the banned. rabbits are banned. Okay, That's the Jeskai. train is Jeskai. Okay, yeah, okay. But yeah. So it seems likely, but I don't I don't want to yeah. spoil or just who's to talking. say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll we'll come back to it. Um. Oh, but we did also see that one of the what do they call them? Ca- not cataclysm the... beasts. Something like that. The the villains, the antagonist for the yeah. story. There's gonna the be the calamity f- beasts. Yeah. Five huge predators. Which makes me think of Breath of the Wild. I think those were Calamity something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calamity Ganon. Yeah. And um, the... Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Calamity Beast, one of them is... I think, like, the big bad is this owl. Yeah. Maha. So, maybe owls are evil-coded in Moonboro? Question mark? Yeah, I really... I don't know. Certainly seems like a possibility. (gasps) Frogs! Oh man, Poison Dart Frog was just the the winner in our hearts from I, from Ixalan, right? I love Poison Dart Frogs so much. Yeah, there is there are two different frogs in the art that they previewed for Bloomborough already, and they're very different vibes. Mm-hmm. One is like in Mabel's crew, and I've seen assertions that Mabel has a party of ten individuals. Who are all different creature types, but those okay. might not be the same as the creature types associated with the colors. And okay. So, but I'm a little uncertain about the sourcing on those. I haven't found Morrow saying that. I haven't found yeah. an official statement. But there is a very friendly, good-looking frog in Mabel's party part. Mm-hmm. But this, this dude, Glarb, <laughs> he does not look like a good... Yeah, he Good he probe. looks like a tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, and his his the art that they previewed is titled Calamity's Augur. Okay. So, yeah, Glarb Calamity's Augur. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, not really. The He looks cool though. Morrow said he's king of the frogs in the preview panel. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, I kind of like his vibe. Yeah. And then yeah, we have the one frog in outlaws well the, there's two the one is get rog splasher. monster which i'm assuming is not seated for this it's just awesome yeah, yeah. i i love that the get rog monster is here and i love <laughs> I the flavor too. that uh, the ability implies where when a when it deals damage or when it deals combat damage to a player you can sack a creature that saddled it so it's kind of implying that like it's eating its <laughs> its riders um and then if you do you get to draw some cards and put some lands from your hand on the battlefield tapped but what's Just important is that Gitrog gets to eat the things that ride it that and that's that's what we really need to focus agreed, on agreed agreed and then the spring splasher did you want to oh i just love the spring splasher um for no particular reason other than it's a frog beast and it's a real spiky boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I also like the flavor text about how it escaped a cook's pot and now it fears neither heat nor human. It is so the opposite of the poison dart yeah. frog. <laughs> yeah, poison dart frog has these big glassy eyes. Yeah. It just wants to be your friend. It has death touch, but don't worry about that. <laughs> um, and then the spring splasher is just like this nasty little guy. Like, look at all those teeth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, love it. Also, he has a kind of a cool ability when he attacks target creature a defending player control just gets minus 3-0 until end of turn. So it's like just seeing this thing come at you just like... Terror. <laughs> yeah. Instills terror. And I love that. Yes. I guess this is a pretty strong hint about the colors of the frog type, though. They are most likely Simic. Again, mm-hmm. I'm thinking just disrog... Dis- yeah, Disra- get wrong Disra- probably. Disra- 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 <laughs> yeah, get probably doesn't indicate anything yeah, for this tribe. Cool. It's but it's cool that he's here. We're happy yeah, yeah, to yeah. see him. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing Sim- Simic for Frogs. Okay, mice. This is the one that we were told explicitly. Yes. Mice are the Boros mm-hmm. creature type. And Mabel was one of the first cards previewed and she's wonderful and i think she's pretty obviously mrs brisby or frisbee depending on your referencing <laughs> yeah. the, the she has her little red cloak of, yeah yeah that was what kind of gave it away because there are lots of stories centered on forest critters i yeah. mean there's watership down mm-hmm. uh, what red wall and a yeah. variety of others but she is a mother of Three. They they told us that that Mabel is a mother of three children, and Miss Frisbee has a red cloak, is a mouse, and a mother of four. That's what we're talking about, right? 
Yeah. But she's so awesome. But yeah, she's great. She gives other mice plus one plus one. Um, and then she makes this legendary equi equipment called Crag Flame. Yeah. So, like, she's kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, she is. And there's a cool token cra yes. Crag Flame. Yeah. But they've seeded a bunch of mice, mm -hmm. particularly in Woe. Yeah. Um, neither of the past two sets. But Three Blind Mice is fun. That had a combo mm -hmm. deck going off in Standard for a while. And I, I like most of these mice. They're just fun. But yeah. there weren't really any mice in the game before that. Or very yeah, few. Yeah, I, I was trying to remember if we had any other... Like, we've had lots of rats. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of rats. But as far as mouse... Yeah. I think that's been kind of an Eldrain thing. Yeah. And then, actually, speaking of rats, there was one rat in this set, in Outlaws, yeah. uh, who is really adorable and reminds me mm -hmm. of... Um, who's Tamio's child? Oh, um... I don't know their name. Um, <laughs> I know what they look like. Th there's a whole story. <laughs> there is a whole one story. One of the side stories is about him. You know I don't read the side stories. I just oh. let you summarize them. <laughs> <laughs> Except when you do. Because Except about when I do when they're about babies. cute cactus babies. Yeah. I did read that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but uh, this is that was the story that just had me on the yeah. verge of tears. It's so... Oh, yeah, and this one, um, Nizumi implies that this creature is from Kamigawa. Yeah. I kind of wonder if this isn't just supposed to be. I have to look up this kid's name. Because this is... Yeah, because he had a legendary card in uh, um, Neon Kamigawa. Yeah, yeah. We'll find it real quick. And then we'll fast forward. Okay. I will remember his name as soon as mm -hmm. it is about to appear on the screen. Yes. That's how like memory works. <laughs> <laughs> Nashi! Nashi! It, I, I, I remember it. <laughs> it's not there yet. I, I remembered it right before we found it. Right? Nashi. Yeah, Nashi okay, Moon Sage's so, Scion. But just look at, at mm -hmm. that uh, Kamigawa art. And okay. then the... Let's uh, look at this Rat Warlock. Yeah, it's it's pretty similar. And it makes mm -hmm. me wonder if they commissioned a Nashi art. Yeah. Since they had the side story going on, they just said, eh, we don't want this to be a legendary in this set, so yeah. let's do this instead. Or maybe there's yeah, one possibly. in the uh, Commander set. I, I can't tell, because Nashi has this little tuft of hair right yeah. here, and I can't tell if this creature has that or not. Oh, you know what? I don't think so. Okay. Because I thought that was kind of a distinguishing feature for him, but... Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I think Sorry. he's probably just a Kamigawa rat denizen. Yeah. But I'm excited that he's here. Yeah, there's... Gainfully oh, there's employed as a warlock, I might add. Honestly, there's that little light spot on that. Yeah, That might have just be. been a recolor <laughs> when they decided, oh, this isn't now. Yeah, and, you know, we have had some matter. different interpretations. Like, notably, Flibblethip has gone through a couple of iterations That's of true. depiction where his first legendary named card looks very different from the stuff we saw of him before that. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think it's... It's not worth ruling out. That in any that case, may be I haven't shooting. given up on rats yeah. being in Bloomboro, but, you know, yeah. I'm happy with the rats we have, too. Mm -hmm. We have some great rats. <laughs> oh, right! That's what made me uh, more hopeful for rats. On the WPN, Wizards Play Network page, which is directed toward stores, retailers, mm -hmm. uh, their <clears throat> announcement for the year's lineup for Bloomboro specifically says, this world is full of squirrels, frogs, rats, and rabbits. So, okay. still hopeful. Yeah. Um, though that could have just been, you know, not that meaningful. Yeah. Moving on. Lizards. We have one preview image from, directly from WotC, of Gev Scaled Scorch. Now, is this the one that's in the party? I, I can't tell if that's the same Yeah, critter. I think it is. Okay. Yeah, he's Honestly, got the little orange thing. Yeah, I think that probably is the okay. same critter, just rendered by a different artist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Very. I'm very excited to see lizards in this set. Um, you know I love reptiles and amphibians yeah. in all forms, so I'm always happy to see more of them in magic. Yeah, there are a bunch of lizards in Outlaws. Mm -hmm. They're mostly red, and we have Laughing Jasper Flint in Rakdos. So probably Rakdos, but I again like the Gitrog monster. Maybe it's just not yeah, that could be an outlier. Him. Yeah. So probably red plus something. Yeah, I bet this is it though. <clears throat> <laughs> not is it um, because is <laughs> yeah, it is it is up almost next. certainly otters. We almost have certainly Bria Riptide Rogue is the mm -hmm. face card from not a commander deck, but the um, the intro decks. They're, okay. They're doing yeah. a new version of the the starter kit, and it has two legendary kind of face creatures. Bria is one. Okay. And where is this the one that has Ralzeric in it too? 
Well, maybe no, okay. but Ral Zarek's He's, art was we previewed. We did see the art in Chicago. Yes. Okay, I was like, where did yeah. I get that in my head? Yes, that they gave us the art. Yes, and we know nothing else. And we know it's named Ral, okay. so it very 100% is yes. Ral, uh, but we don't know the the abilities yet. Yeah. Yeah, and but obviously Ral is yeah. is it he's gonna do is it Bria things. is is it so I think <laughs> if there's anything we're sure of other yeah. than the mice it's pretty clear yeah. otters are yeah I guess if it's an intro deck he's probably not gonna and be in I there. think before like this year before whoa that had these three or four otters we had Lutri was I think yeah. the first or second otter in the game there's like one other blue otter Ooh. yeah it's just a, two in Ikoria yeah the one in Commander and then the rest are from okay. Woe and the alchemy version of Woe. Um, but they all, the only, okay, so Woe had the elusive otter that had the green uh, adventure, but it's pretty clear that it yeah. is the uh, the standard otter colors. And that's awesome. That's so great. I'm yeah, glad that's really fun. Becoming a real thing. Buns, rabbits, Birk, B Y R K E. Long Ear of the Law. That's the face card for the other okay. starter deck. And it is Selesnia, and it's a rabbit. And we have Claim Jumper in the current set, in Outlaws. Yes. Who is a humanoid rabbit mm -hmm. mercenary. And then back in, well, we had two more rabbits, and one of them had a green adventure. So it seems like Selesnia is going to be rabbits. That, would make, that makes sense. I don't know, that just like feels right yeah, thematically. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. <clears throat> I love the art on Claim Jumper, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know who it specifically reminds me of, but it's definitely evoking something. Maybe just awesome. Yeah, it, it just really stands out. It's okay to be just awesome. It's okay. That's cool. That's cool. You know, it's okay to just like things. <laughs> <laughs> um, raccoons have certainly been floated as uh, a, the likely mm -hmm. gruel candidate because there is mm -hmm. a commander deck that's red green called animated army makes Make sense. trash do smash i like that tagline <laughs> so they kind of took the the fun of guessing out but yeah i love that's raccoons. fine i, I love raccoons and there aren't many of them either <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, yeah we had a couple back in new capenna yeah but were they the first type raccoons they might have been the first. Well, no, yeah. I think that one, that, for, as far as non-Silver Border, yes. <laughs> squirrel Dealer. Because we did have Squirrel Dealer, <laughs> who was a raccoon lizard bird. I... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But yeah, since... since Don't think about that too hard. <laughs> so the first official raccoons yes. were the Masked Bandits. And since then, we've had Scrappy Bruiser, and then Ixalan had the Quati. But, like, Quatis aren't... Are they the same raccoons? I don't know. We're going to have to look that up and confirm it. Or I don't know. I'm sure one of our friends will call us out in the chat. Yeah, we've been having lots of yeah. discussions. About we'll, we'll get to back to that in yeah. a second. And yeah, then, when we get to squirrels, uh, yeah, we can revisit that comment. And and it's, it's, so yeah, yeah. I'm personally, I just love all the trash cats. Yeah. I love foxes yeah. and and possums. Yes. And I love the possum in uh, Outlaws that mount. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope there are more possums, but I haven't seen any other yeah. sign that there's going to be possums. You know what? I would that's, love to see more possums. That's my possums. dark horse hope, is that <laughs> one of like these... Maybe there will be possums. <laughs> one of these themes is possums, or at the very least, we'll just get yeah. a random one off possum. In possums as a supported world. tribe would be amazing. That would. That would make me personally yeah. very happy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then that does actually bring us to squirrels. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> so the squirrel card in Outlaws is a, well, it's titled Prairie Dog, mm -hmm. which... <laughs> yeah, that, that, some people find that very upsetting. Some people do. Which I kind of get, but like, we looked it up. We they, did. They're, scientifically, they're part of the squirrel they're family. Part, just, they're, they're related. So, it's, you know, it's... it's fair? I don't, would it, would it be, I want to ask this, would it be more upsetting if this was typed as a dog? Yes. I think it would. <laughs> they watch them bring back Hound just for this. <laughs> Prairie dog type. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to bring back Hound just for this critter. But <clears throat> despite that being the only squirrel proof, mm -hmm. let me verify. Let, let's do the scry fall okay. check. Okay, yeah, let's make sure. I think that's the only I might just squirrel. be blowing smoke. Um. Yeah, there hasn't been a new squirrel since Akoria, it looks like. Uh, or was Strixhaven more recent than that? In any case, yeah. nothing in standard right now. Yeah, nothing in standard. And that's there were what this conversation is about. Uh, supported creature types in standard. Yeah, in standard. Because we have seen a few. There was the one in Modern Horizons 2. Um, there was the one in 
the most recent unset. Um, yeah. I lose track. On but, Infinity? Uh, yes. The one that had some black border cards mixed in. So, like, there were yeah. a few squirrels in there. And they've been putting them in Modern Horizons. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, but as far as, like, standard legal cards. Yeah. But... So, therefore, I would not have assumed squirrels were going to be relevant. But, yeah. again, the commander decks, there is squirrel, squirrel away. <laughs> away. So, with a squirrel on the cover, it's Golgari. So, I think we can safely say that squirrels are going to be Probably. kind of relevant. Yeah. In and this they've set. already established them as Golgari with Chatterfang. Yeah. Chatterfang? Chatterfang? Is it Chatterfang? Uh oh. I'm, I'm gonna get judged. <laughs> we are gonna get judged Chatterfang. so hard. I'll cut that out. Or oh, and or um, a Cornelia was the, was that the first legendary squirrel? I have never seen. Yeah, that she's Golgari too. Wow. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, because before Chatterfang, uh, I saw at least one person rule zero that commander. That's grand. Who just really wanted to do squirrel, and you're like, sure, you don't have any other options. Um, All right. Okay, uh, moving on. I've heard assertions that Fox will be one of the Calamity uh, Beast okay. creatures. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. Um, Did I imagine that there is art for Jace as a Fox that was previewed? No, that is okay. 100%. Was that a fever dream or was that right. real? <laughs> <laughs> that, that really happened. And at the time, I think someone made an assertion, like whoever was on stage or something said, ah, some of these are more like what if scenarios. Mm -hmm. But then Jace showed up at the very end of Outlaws. And so maybe. We've I had mean, two we have epilogue had... stories this week with him. So. It, I think it is worth mentioning that like, it's possible that some of this stuff could be, like with yeah. Jace, uh, could be like secret layer potential because yeah. there were the what if completed planeswalkers that yeah. they commissioned. Oh, you're right. They didn't use, but then they released a secret layer that was yeah. like, hey, what if this happened? So that is a possibility. It is, but my money's on there. But were also, just wanting to tease this art without quite revealing what was happening in the story yet. And there's a bunch of like shocked frogs behind him that just mm -hmm. seem utterly entranced by what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> They have never seen someone do close-up street magic before, and they are... <laughs> yeah, look at this the face. Yeah, look at their faces! On the lower right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best one. That one on the lower right, like... Actually, the one right above and to the left also is fantastic. Yeah, he's like... Ugh. Okay, these are all great. Yeah, they're all great. They're all great. Choose a they favorite. are mesmerized by what he's doing right now. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, foxes. Uh-huh. Foxes could be a thing. And we've had a few foxes... Um, We've also had some wolves of late. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, just the one, I think, in Thunder Junction. The 3-3 three, three Defender. Why is this thing not in our release date? There we go. Oh, yeah. Just the yep. one. And we had, you know, Voja, a setback, mm -hmm. and then a couple in... Yeah, Woe had a few. Woe, which is very fitting yeah. and appropriate because wolves are such right. fairy tale antagonist yes. tropes. Makes sense. Uh, but we have, I think the first art that was ever previewed of Bloomborough showed the giant hulking wolf with oh, Mabel standing. Yeah, I remember in that. Foreground. So I, that looks to me pretty clearly like a wolf rather than a different I painted. Love, right? Okay, I just want to point out I love in this art how you can see her cloak is a leaf. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. And you can see the little, like, I don't know, are they veins? The little lines in, in the, the leaf. leaf. Yeah, oh, that's I yeah, love that texture. That is that's so good. Art. Yeah, that this art is really just. And you also have like out. this little firefly off to the corner. Like the scale in this is chef's kiss. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. They did a good job choosing yeah. their first reveal. Yeah. Because it says so much about the set. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay. Then bears. Like Morrow specifically said, you know, contrasting that the base 1-1 one, one mouse should set our understanding of the scale okay. of this world, <clears throat> and that, in contrast, a bear was huge, and then yeah. they showed us the preview of Lumra Bellow of the Woods. So yeah, in this context, you know, normally we talk about bears as like the classic 2-2 two, two for 2, yeah. but in this context, be bears are big and chonky. Which makes me... Well, I don't know. Um... The question here is, are they one of the creature types? Mm -hmm. Probably not, because that implies that this is one of the Calamity Beasts. Yeah. And probably aren't going to see a bunch of them, because they would just be really off scale. Yeah. Unless they are the Simic, you know, giant ramp tribal They could be just like theme. the big Simic bombs yeah. at like 5, 6, and up. Yeah, but I really think it's going to be frogs for Simic. I don't know. I would like that. Yeah. But they can... They I can, secretly want that. They can have bears... Hmm. Are they trying to seed it for a, like, constructed archetype, or is it just a limited archetype? Is it, 
I think there's not going to be a limited archetype of bears. They'd be too big, but it's <laughs> possible there will be a constructed archetype that they're trying to push. I don't know. Would you want them to? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I would want that to be an archetype. Of all the things that are cool and they're already here, I, I mean... Yeah, I think I, I, if they're going to... If, if mice are the one ones, like if that's kind of the baseline mm -hmm. for power toughness, yeah. I think I would prefer if bears were not a tribe or type, a yeah. typal supported yeah. uh, faction in this set. I would rather them be like a one or two of where you have like a big chonky bear that you have to deal with. Yeah. I feel like if there were too many bears, that would kind of detract from their power. Right. Yeah. And so having one of them as the big five antagonist yeah. kind of... There should be, like, one big bear that's a bomb, and then... I agree with that. You know. But I don't want to miss this opportunity to admire how wonderful the art for Doc Arlock and Grizzle oh, Genius yeah. is. Oh, yeah. I love this art, um, and not just because of the little salamander axolotl things that are <laughs> hanging out with him, although yeah. they are a big part of why I like it, but mm -hmm. just, like, what a cool piece. Like, we've got this... He's a bear druid. He's got this really cool hat <laughs> and he's got all these little like accoutrement he's got this little specimen jar that he's checking out he feels very powerful but gentle and kind of old and wise yeah I mean, and the flavor text learning starts <clears throat> only when you close your mind off to wonder i mean it's just yeah. so whimsical in such a harsh yeah. setting i mean yeah, outlaws has... is harsh yeah. it's all the villains and everything yeah. and, and it's a little silly sometimes but it's not it's not warm and cozy. It's not yeah, friendly. Yeah, it's not a cozy place to but be. Doc, Doc Shore is. Yeah, he 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 feels like a cool guy. Like I kind of want to just hang out with him. Yeah. I want to go collect specimens with him. Yeah. And I want to meet his friends. Me I need too. to know more about these little more axolotls. Yeah, I need to see. That's my wish list item. Is like I want to see more axolotls and salamanders. <laughs> so that's it. Those are what we're really hoping for. Mm -hmm is axolotls and possums. Yeah, I, I will settle for salamander. We do already have some salamanders in yeah. the game. All right, that'll do. <laughs> it's so fun to say the word badger. Badger. Badger, badger. <laughs> uh.